Iris, the goddess of the rainbow in Greek mythology, has long been considered a virgin goddess. However, according to later writers, there is a conflicting belief that she was married to Zephyrus and became the mother of Eros. This raises the question, is Iris truly a virgin goddess? In the earlier myths, Iris is depicted as a messenger of the gods, often flying on the rainbow to deliver messages between the gods and mortals. She is celebrated for her beauty and grace, and is often described as a young maiden, suggesting her status as a virgin goddess. This portrayal of Iris as a pure and untouched deity aligns with the traditional concept of a virgin goddess in Greek mythology. However, the idea that Iris was married to Zephyrus and bore arrows complicates this perception. Zephyrus, the god of the west wind, is often associated with spring and the arrival of new life. In some versions of the myth, Zephyrus is portrayed as the husband of Iris, suggesting that she was not a virgin goddess after all. Additionally, the notion that she became the mother of Eros further challenges the traditional understanding of Iris as a virgin goddess. It is important to consider the context in which these conflicting beliefs about Iris's marital status and motherhood arose. In ancient Greek mythology, the stories and attributes of the gods were subject to change over time and across different regions. As a result, there were often discrepancies and variations in the myths surrounding the gods and goddesses. One possible explanation for the contradictory accounts of Iris's marital status and motherhood is the influence of Roman mythology on Greek mythology. In Roman mythology, Iris is often associated with Juno, the queen of the gods, and is depicted as her messenger and handmaiden. In this context, Iris's role as a married goddess and mother of Eros may have been influenced by the Roman portrayal of her. Another interpretation of Iris's marital status and motherhood is that these aspects of her character were added to her myth at a later time, reflecting changing attitudes and beliefs about the goddess. In ancient Greece, the role of women and the concept of virginity were highly valued, and the idea of a pure and untouched goddess like Iris would have been revered. However, as societal attitudes evolved, so too did the portrayal of the gods and goddesses in mythology. Ultimately, the question of whether Iris is truly a virgin goddess remains open to interpretation. The conflicting accounts of her marital status and motherhood in later writings suggest that her portrayal may have shifted over time, reflecting the evolving beliefs and values of the ancient Greeks. Regardless of how Iris is ultimately perceived, her significance as a messenger of the gods and the embodiment of the rainbow remains unchanged. Whether as a virgin goddess or a married mother, Iris continues to captivate and inspire with her beauty and grace, symbolizing the timeless and ever-changing nature of mythology.